This video is brought to you today by Ghost Tags. This is my own company that I started because I wanted a glow in the dark air tag case. These things are awesome. You can stick them on your backpack, on your dog's collar, and you will be able to find it at night. We've got two colors, blue and green. They've got great reviews. Go check them out. Links to them down below. Now on to the video. Hey guys, what's up? I'm Slim and you're watching Slimothy TV. In this video, we're gonna talk about iOS 17.1, which beta one just came out yesterday. I decided not to rush out a video like the other YouTubers because I wanted to actually try this and see if it helped with the heat issues that some people are talking about. Anyways, here is the settings page. If you are curious about the build number, ending in an H, so we still do have quite a few more betas. I expect this to be out towards the end of October at this rate. All right, so let's talk about the new features and some of the bugs in this beta. One of the first big new features of this beta, if you go into general and then airdrop, you can now actually use cellular data to continue airdropping to someone if you need to leave. So you don't have to stay on the same network. You don't have to stay next to each other. You can go out of range as it clearly says right there and your airdrop will continue. So this is gonna be an awesome feature. I'm so glad it's coming so early in the iOS 17 cycle since it was promised. Next up, name drop actually came to the Apple Watch. So if you have the beta there, you can try that out if you'd like, but I'm not gonna put any more betas onto my watch until iOS 18 or watchOS, whatever it's called, 11. Now, something that's kind of unfortunate with this beta, but I'll explain why here in a second. If you go to sounds and haptics, click on that, uh, a bunch of the good ringtones that they just added were actually removed. Now, the reason for this is because it appeared that iOS 17 was messing with people's custom ringtones and I think they had to revert that for probably a bug. In the process, they unfortunately removed 20 of the new ringtones, but I have no doubt that these will be back later in the iOS 17.1 beta cycle, so don't worry. I'm sure they'll be coming back. And lastly, one of the other things that people are talking about is the new flashlight indicator in the Dynamic Island right there. It's now on the iPhone 14 Pro as well, so they've kind of trickled that feature down. Hopefully they'll do the same thing with the battery feature where you can stop the battery charging at 80%. Personally, I don't use that feature on the 15 Pro, but if you want to, you can. Now, before we talk about bugs and performance, I do wanna mention two things. First off, people are complaining about heat on the iPhone 15 Pros. Personally, I have not noticed this. However, I have noticed that the titanium does retain a little more heat than stainless steel. Stainless steel feels colder to the touch when it's cooled, but titanium just doesn't have that exact same feel. But personally, I think the actual metallic physical feel of titanium is way superior to that slimy kind of weird stainless steel feeling. Second thing I wanna talk about is durability of the iPhone 15 Pro. There are some crazy drop tests coming out showing the back shattering and the front shattering very easily. I think the reason is because of the curved edges on the sides here. The stainless steel on the iPhone 14 Pros, it was fantastic because it was straight up and down 90 degree angle, similar to how they do on the Apple Watch Ultra. In case you ever noticed, uh, this rim actually goes vertical. The reason for that is it's way more durable. Like I have no issues with this, no scratches, nothing. With a phone, when it's curved like that, when you drop the phone, it's going to shatter much easier than it would if it was just vertical like on the 14 Pro. But of course, with the sides being vertical like on the 14 Pro, it's a lot less comfortable to hold in the hand. This is super comfy, but I think most people are probably gonna need a case for this one. Unfortunately, people thought the titanium was gonna be super durable and not really. It's just lighter for the same strength as stainless steel. So the whole point of it was not really to increase strength, it was simply to reduce weight. That's what Apple did. Don't get that misconstrued because I know a lot of people got that messed up. Anyways, performance on this beta so far has been almost identical to 17, so no issues there at all. Heat seems to be possibly a little less, but that could just be placebo effect. I really don't have any heating problems on my iPhone 15 Pro at all. Take that for what you will. If you do have heating problems on your phone, instead of just doing a reboot by pressing and holding volume up and this one right here, don't do this. Instead of doing this, do a hard reboot instead. To do that, you just press volume up, volume down, and then hold the power button and keep holding, keep holding, keep holding. I'm gonna do this live on camera, I don't care. And keep holding, keep going, still keep going. It's gonna feel like a long time. Keep holding, do not let go of that power button. That's the only button I'm holding right now is this power button right here. And boom, just like that, it is rebooted. This is a hard reboot and this should clear out any junk that's causing heat issues or anything else on your phone. I noticed that a normal reboot of just pressing and holding volume up and power and then sliding the power off was not fixing every issue. This has always fixed every issue that I've had. So definitely try this first. Again, you just press volume up, press volume down, and then hold power button and keep holding it until you see the Apple logo come up. 
It's gonna feel like a while, but that should fix the issues. I do this after every beta install, every iOS install. I do the same thing after a few minutes. I don't have issues. Anyways, that is iOS 17.1 beta one. Let me know your guys' thoughts. If you guys are hopping on the beta train, there's not really much new here and there won't be until iOS 18. I'd like to show you guys all the new features and talk about any fixes. By the way, I did hear from an inside source of mine that the notification tray bug that I have been talking about where you pull down on the notification tray and it gets glitchy. I've been talking about it for like three months now. It's apparently going to be fixed soon. So fingers crossed that that gets fixed because that is the only main bug that I have and it's super annoying. All right, guys, that's all I got for this one. If you liked it, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.